Dan Eaton is the SDSU ethics professor, and he joins us on the DeMaio Report right now to break down some of the ethical issues regarding this case with Tom Brady. So, Dan, have you had a chance to digest this? What are your thoughts about uh, what the federal judge uh, has decided to do today in overturning the suspension by what I can see as technical grounds rather than ethical grounds? I have had a chance to look at it, and I'm not sure I agree with your characterization of it as technical grounds, because, Carl, fundamentally, fairness matters, whether you're talking about the playing field or a civil court of law and a criminal court of law. And the main reason the judge overturned this suspension was because he found that Tom Brady simply wasn't given notice that what uh, he was allegedly found to have done would have resulted in a suspension. So I'm reading from Judge uh, Richard Berman's decision, and, and, and to your point, it says, quote, no NFL policy or precedent notifies players that they may be disciplined, much less suspended for general awareness of misconduct by others. Now, the investigation was conducted by the NFL. Uh, independent uh, investigator Ted Wells released a report in May that stopped short of finding as fact that the balls were deliberately deflated by Brady or on his orders. However, however, the NFL investigation did indicate that there was a strong probability that Brady knew and was aware. So with that knowledge, you know, isn't fairness on the field important here? And shouldn't the commissioner be able to enforce the uh, fair play of the NFL? Well, I mean, uh, in an abstract sense, uh, you, nobody can quarrel with your points, but what is exactly does it mean uh, for the uh, commissioner to enforce fair play? It means ab- abiding by the rules. The commissioner is not a law unto himself, which is a point that the judge made. And he, just like the players he oversees, has to uh, follow the rules when, uh, when issues come before him. And the bottom line, the reason this suspension was overturned is because a federal judge, who is even more powerful than the NFL commissioner, Commissioner said that Goodell didn't. We're on with Dan Eaton. He's at San Diego State University, and he's a professor of ethics. And we're talking about a federal judge deciding today to overturn the NFL suspension of uh, Patriot quarterback Tom Brady. So, Dan, you're walking into a classroom. You're teaching ethics. When you take a look at this case, tell me what is the ethical carry away or walk away uh, or bottom line for you? The bottom line, Carl, is the value at stake is fairness, but a fairness in a particular context, and that is fairness in the sense of following the established rules. You can't make these things up as they go along. Imagine the chaos on the playing field if referees sort of made up the rules as they go along that, uh, you know, 15-yard penalties became 20-yard penalties, that they shifted the, the line for kicking a field goal in the middle of a play when the rules said otherwise. That's really what's at stake here, and that's why the judge's thoughtful decision uh, – is justifiable on an ethical ground, even though there are those who are going to hotly disagree with it because of conceptions they have about the patriots and the way they generally do business. I don't think that's really fair. The focus needs to be on what the rules were and whether the commissioner applied those rules when he suspended Tom Brady for four games. And the federal judge said he didn't. And that's why uh, you have the result that was reached, regardless of your feelings about the patriots. And I'm, by the way, no fan of Patriot Nation. In fact, I wore blue and gold uh, today uh, to work just so I could underscore the fact that, yes, I am a Chargers fan, and uh, this is not about fealty to one team. It's fealty to a principle of basic fairness, and that's why the judge reached the result that he did. Okay. Thank you very much, Dan Eaton, for joining us on the DeMaio Report.